Welcome back everybody to the Grand Shamrock Tour and we are doing a special uh, edition where we're going to be putting some some new supplies on our brand new G310 GS's. So when Carolyn and I decided to go for the smaller displacement bikes, we didn't want to give up some of the great features that we have on our bigger GS's, which we still have kept those bigger GS's. So the 1250 and the 800 are in the other shed across the way. Um, while we do that, the first thing that we opted for was, Carol and I both have the ROX risers on our bikes, and we are in love with them. They just give you a sense of control, and they're just much more comfortable uh, than the standard ergonomics that the bikes are set up with. So, the first thing we opted for when we decided we were gonna start getting these bikes set up is, we made a quick phone call to ROX Speed FX in Minnesota, and the team there got right on it. So what we have is a two inch ROX riser, which for the seven eight inch bar on this bike is what we're gonna install today. And uh, it's fairly simple, but you gotta make sure that you get all of your, everything in the right order. So you don't have any kind of a problem with controls, whether or not they get bound up, or sometimes the access to these bolts down here can be a little bit challenging. So I'm gonna kind of walk you through that and hopefully that will help. Okay, so all you're gonna need for this install is, on this particular bike is a six millimeter uh, Allen wrench, and I have it in both a socket form and a ball end wrench, which makes it a little bit easier because of some of the way you've gotta get into these uh, particular nuts. That being said, it's just now a matter, it's not necessarily an easy install or a simple install, but it's a pretty basic install. So we'll get started by first taking off this top triple clamp. fairly fairly easy still now we're just simply replacing the normal triple clamp uh, tie down with the rock speed effects riser and they'll simply go in 7 8 inch bars they go in position and then what we want to do is first just lightly tighten them up and a rule of thumb when you're doing handlebars is make sure you've got a snug on the top and then you'll loosen from the bottom and the reason being is if in the event of, a, of an accident or a crash the bars then can roll backwards uh, it's very uncommon that the bars roll forward and so that's why it's a lot easier if they have more leeway going back than forward and all you want to do is snug them up you don't want to get tight because you really want to be able to start playing with the adjustments on this bike and the other thing about this particular setup is you're gonna be limited in your access to those bolts once we do get them on. So this first set has to be basically right where we want, close to where we want them, I should say. And so we'll snug those, just a slight tight. That's snug. And you can see I still got plenty of movement in that, plenty of movement. And now we'll go ahead and put these and again, you want to make sure that everything is just first in the correct position. You never want to force anything. Uh, and again, the workmanship, the uh, the way these particular um, product, the ROX risers are made, they're made out of billet aluminum. They're unbelievably strong and uh, designed to uh, for competition purposes and so it does make it pretty nice to be able to get it that way. So if I was to look or to use Carolyn's other motorcycle as a guide, then what I would find is that she prefers to have them somewhat in a leaning forward position with her bar so she can get her elbows up. So I'm going to make the assumption, the pre-judgment right now, that this is about where she's gonna want her bars. And I'll get her out here in a bit and she'll, she'll get fitted to them after we get them somewhat 
aligned. So we gotta make sure all of our clearances are good. But first what we're gonna do now is just make sure this is snug on the bottom so they don't rotate anymore while we can make all of our other adjustments. So it's just a simple snug. And we're good. Now, come back after I remove this and we get the bars in position. What do you think, Sport? I think you're doing great. Okay, yeah. because uh, this particular setup, the two inch riser is designed for uh, either seven eighths or inch and an eighth bars. They have a spacer in there. And don't be concerned, that spacer is really perfectly machined and everything works great. So you're not losing or being compromised in any way. It actually has a center lock on it. So there's nothing there to be concerned about. So now with the riser removed and we're somewhat even in our orientation, we're gonna try to bring the bars up. We're going to you gotta make sure that we don't get off that center. It's a, it's a great uh, point of reference, if nothing else. And then what we wanna just make sure is our bars are in the same orientation, equidistant from there to there. And you'll see that they're starting, to, that they pivot a little bit. That's because they're not, they're not uh, square. So we'll get square in a second. But first we got to get them in a nice, secure position. And because Carolyn's bike is lowered, this is kind of nice in that sense. And, and one reason we wanted to do it in hers, on hers first is um, my bike will have a little bit more clearance issues with those cables, more than we have to think about. But Carolyn's bike has already been dropped the inch and a half. So the two inch riser, we should have very little conflict in that. Okay, that being said, now we're gonna go ahead and loosen this a little bit, and you'll see things are gonna get a little crazy. Once we start to loosen, now we've got that, just a bunch of adjustment that we can do, and it really is nice to be able to have that much flexibility in our adjustment as we go. We got forward, backward. We don't want, we, we want the orientation left and right to be exactly, basically on a factory bias, uh, bias so, uh, we're good there, and we're going to get a little bit snug. We'll, we will have access to that, uh, that lower bolt, but if I'm not mistaken, Carolyn's going to like the way this already feels. So, again, we want to do the same orientation where we snug up this top bolt first. Top bolt. Now, I will actually come back and make sure that I kind of mic all these to make sure that everything is close. But all I'm doing right now is we're, we're getting um, a fit. And then we'll go back and we'll torque everything here to 18 foot pounds, which uh, old motorcyclist says, yep, yeah, that feels like about 18 foot pounds, but we will use a uh, torque wrench. We have a really nice micro torque wrench that we'll use. And we'll come back in just a second after Carolyn's got a chance to feel what, how this feels. What, just This is amazing. Let me see. And yeah. everything clears. That's what I'm most excited about. Okay. There's no, nothing's bumping. Oh yeah. Oh, and you know what? I think ergonomics yeah, is just, just feels amazing. Bigger. Well, and it just feels good. Mm -hmm. It gives me a little bit more leverage just in terms of handling the bike. And look at that, John. I'm able to pop that. That's so much better. I've had troubles with that. So yeah, that just puts it up in a much better ready to go position so yeah that's great feels fantastic all right so i had carolyn come in and we fitted her to exactly where she wanted i set the torque at 18 foot pounds on the front bolts on just the triple clamp mount and then i came in and we had that free play where we could adjust in and out and we used just a mount to slightly tap this in because you want to make sure you've got a good tight interference fit between this where it goes into the triple clamp, clamp. and then we use the actual riser clamp and we set our torque wrench like i said to 18 foot pounds 
And then basically what we want to do is make sure we get the top bolts again tightened first. And I've already checked these. And once those are set, we tighten up the lower bolts. Try to do it in sequence. And they are, it, it feels, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna lie, it feels fantastic. I've just, you know, this isn't, this is Carolyn's bike. Um, but ergonomically, just immediately, you feel that aggressive, more attack position, much more control. You feel like you're gonna have the leverage, just tickled to death. Uh, Rocks risers, the two inch risers from Rocks Speed FX. You can't go wrong. I highly encourage anybody that's in the ADV market, no matter what the brand, make sure you contact them. Uh, we're gonna leave all the information. Uh, this particular one that we got that uh, supplied for us is, uh, is one that uh, is not in high demand, but uh, the rest of their stuff is, all of the anodized colors and everything. You can't go wrong. Uh, I would encourage you to reach out to our friends there at Rocks Risers, information down below, and uh, thanks for watching. And we hope to see you out on the road.